We are back for another Mystery Box Friday, but today we're gonna be unboxing a $2,000 Mystery Box from the IG reseller, Sneakers Bar. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this content, and let's pray for OOS right after this. Good YouTube family, welcome back to the channel. If you didn't know by now, my name is Josh, also known as Out of Stock Kicks. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and smash that like button because you know it helps out your boy in the YouTube algorithm. All right, this is our fourth mystery box that we are going to be unboxing on our YouTube channel. And man, we've been one for three in terms of like who's getting the most profit in terms of all the boxes we've bought from a few IG resellers, some YouTubers, and then also now we have this one. So this one's kind of funny because it is wrapped in the Bye Bye Baby tape. So when I got it in the mail, I was kind of tripping out because I wasn't sure if it was part of our registry that we have or it's a mystery box from the from the tag, it does look like it's from our uh, from Sneakers Bar. So again, if you're watching this, bro, I appreciate you for running this. Hopefully we get some steals and we'll go from there, man. Before we do get started, I unbox this. I do want to shout out to the sponsor of this video. We have our guys at Drip Grip again. Again, if you guys haven't heard about them yet, trust me, they are on the rise. What this does is you put this right under your shoes, right on the soles, and from there, you're gonna be able to protect the soles that you've paid for. I mean, we got $1,000 shoes, $500 shoes, and by putting this on there, you're allowing it to just really get away from all the dirt that's under it. You can make the soles a lot cleaner when you take it off or if you ever wanna resell them, but I'm telling you guys, please, please check them out. The link will be in the description, and make sure you use our code OOS10 for 10% on your order, and come on, man. These are your investments, take care of them. All right, so let's get it popping. Let's go, what are we doing today? Man, oh man, $2,000. This can be very, very crazy. Like I said before, we are gonna have a counter up here that's gonna tell us the progress as we go down the whole video. We'll go and check it out and hopefully we get some bangers. So we'll go ahead and maybe we could start off with filling it out if there are any pairs without a box. So this will be the very first one, I'll take these out. Okay, so I know exactly what these are uh, back in the day when I used to be like all into Ultra Boost. These are the Parlay, I believe the 4.0 Ultra Boost collaboration between the two. This pair is used. Definitely does not really have them much value to be honest with you. I would potentially put this at about maybe like around $50. But yeah, definitely you like that color combination that they have here. Adidas with the Ultra Beast model, they try to do everything and anything they could when they were hot before. Definitely just something I hopefully is just the filler. We'll go on and move on to the next shoe. So let's go ahead and feel if there are any more pairs here. That puts, okay, I feel something here. Okay, I think I got the same. Oh, okay. All right, so this pair, as you guys know, is a Jordan 5. It is in very good condition, as you can tell from the top portion of it. If you look on the toe box, it's not as many creases on it, but this pair is definitely used. This is the grape colorway. Definitely remember growing up with these and seeing everybody that had them. I couldn't have them, of course, because you know I was more into you know like the other shoes. <laughs> you have the worn bottom here, so you could probably just go ahead and ice this up. I think the value on these have pretty much stayed pretty consistent, but we'll go ahead and put this right here to see exactly how it helps us on the counter. Just a very iconic shoe. I wouldn't be surprised if Jordan and Nike decide to re-retro this again because people really mess with these. This pair is from a 2012 pair, so definitely a good addition. This one will still hold some value. Just gotta clean it up and see exactly what we can get in terms of the resale market. All right, let's go ahead and see if there's any other pairs. Okay, so I feel one more that has no box. And I don't know exactly what it is, but we'll go ahead and see it together. Oh, okay. So I haven't seen these in a quick minute, but I do know a little bit about KDs. This one, I believe is a KD4. This is also known as the Thunderstruck. So this is a basketball shoe. Resale market, I probably would be, it would be pretty hard for me to say exactly how much they are, but I remember seeing this like on the resale market for about like 150, you know, brand new. So this pair does not have a box. This is a size 10, so it is used. You have the soles here. They are fairly white, probably just a little scrubbed down. Um, and you know, any hoopers that potentially would want to get these probably would be around like 70 bucks with no box. Good little addition to the counter and we'll go ahead and move on to the next. Okay, so now it looks like we're just into the box pairs. I feel three of them. We'll go for this middle one first and we'll 
bruh. Okay, so this is a Quick Strike Nike SB. You guys know that I love my Nike SB, so definitely whenever you see this, hopefully you have a banger. Um, we'll go ahead and check it out. So this is a Nike Dunk low pro quick strike green spark soar size 10. i don't know exactly what this is i'm hoping for some type of heat but we'll go oh uh, what the f okay oh sh all right so these are the grateful deads uh definitely not what i had expected in this mystery box but holy crap okay so this pair is definitely worn size 10 but it's very very clean as you can tell here basically no crazy marks i do see a few pieces inside which means that the indicated rare stars are pretty much all there nothing crazy with this man i i don't i honestly i didn't really like this series but in terms of value you might be onto something right now. Last time I checked, I think these still go for around like the 900 to 1000 brand new. You know, this pair too, just as clean, has the original laces, box is not damaged. Definitely can make up some money in terms of this. So, wow, great addition to the counter and we are gonna keep it moving, but I am very surprised he put this in here. Whew. Whoa, all right, let's go move on to the next shoe. I think we're definitely like, with the grapes, I think that's going for about like, maybe I could get 200 on the resale market. Those other two are more like fillers. I'm um, probably like 50 bucks, 75 bucks each. And then we got those gratefuls, probably can sell them for like 800 to 850. And then, oh snap, all right, this box almost came through. So we know what this is. This is a Jordan 1 box. I am really hoping that this is a pair and it's my personal size, but the box feels right. Oh, ah, it's a size nine and a half. So we'll go ahead and open this real quick. If this is what I think it is, man, I'm telling you, yeah, I, I had pairs of this before and I still think these go up in value being that they are. Oh, okay, so they're not, I thought they were the neutral grays. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even read the title. So it's a varsity red black. So these are the 85s. Let me see if these are brand new. Oh my goodness, these are definitely brand new. All right, so everybody knows what pair this is. This is the 1985, well, the 85 varsity red kind of like in the reverse bread colorway. These were the first to make it right before the neutral grays, which have basically been on a tear recently. This pair still is holding its value. I remember pairs are going for about like 550 to 600. And being that this is a brand new pair, oh yeah, I'm definitely loving it. You got that, the, the tag still attached. And then you have the bag that's here. So basically when you are able to sell these two stock X, you need to have all these different ones. And from here, it's also, from what I remember, these were not numbered. They were, oh, actually no, they are numbered. Just kidding. So on the bag here, um, here's that little drawstring bag that it comes with. Uh, this one says it's a 2292 out of 23,000. So limited to 23,000, definitely was a cool little add on. A lot of people were like taking this out of the boxes. Usually when you say OG all, this all has to be in there. So, wow, this, is dope another ds pair adding to the counter goodness gracious we're at about like i would say at 1500 maybe like 1500 around 1600 and we got one shoe left what could that be because we need to make up that two thousand dollar price point that we bought this box at so hopefully guys if you guys still tune into this video put down hashtag pray for ous because we gotta get to this price point you know what i'm saying all right here it is the very last shoe that we're dealing with and I'm gonna close my eyes because I'm hoping it is something good guys please tell me it is something let's go okay so there's two things that could happen here okay this is a size 8 I'm not gonna read the title so maybe you guys can read it before me I am hoping that this pair is a guava pair that would be the most profitable it's not my size so definitely these are gonna be on the website if you guys haven't known that we do have a website, it's www.oskicks.com. So let's see what it is, and I'm hoping that it is dead stock. I'm gonna pop open this box really quick. <laughs> let's go. We are over the counter, baby, because this pair, the iconic, oh my God, it's a Jordan 4. We got the guava with the hang tag, and it is dead stock. Whoa, let's get it. Poppin, my goodness. Yo, this box, yeah, I definitely got the value that we needed. Um, for sure, we we're gonna find at least 10% profit, maybe even more, 
once we get down to the to the breakdown of the box you guys know what this is this is the iconic uh, collaboration between Union and Jordan on the Jordan 4 there were two colorways that were released it was this pair the guava and the nor yeah this pair definitely is the one that goes for a lot more in a size 8 that low-key might be the money size I haven't checked market but oh I'm definitely happy about this box I don't know about you guys but tell me down below in the comments would you guys unstitch this and like let it pop open like how all fours are because that's what I'm gonna be doing to my black pair. And yeah, I kind of wish I'd still have my personal pair and I just actually bought another dead stock 10. So I'm gonna be restocking the site on these for sure. Iconic, I did hear that there are threes that are coming out, Jordan threes, and I can't wait for that collaboration. Man, let's go ahead and recap this box because we definitely, definitely got that dub. Let's go. All right, looking back at it though, this might be one of the most profitable boxes that we have in terms of like, what we got so we got two ds pairs we got three boxes or three shoes without boxes and then we have that grateful dead which definitely will be able to fetch some money if we're able to sell that grape and then potentially make like $30 on those KDs and at least, or on the Ultra Boost and at least like $50 on the KDs, I think we got a good shot in terms of making the best out of our value. So like I said before, you guys all know that mystery boxes are all gambles. It also depends on who you purchase them from. You can't always expect that you're gonna get Ws, but I think this one definitely was a W. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support. Thank you for the, supporting this journey, the growth that we've had. And man, oh man, always remember y'all. Stay in stock with out of stock kicks. Peace.